Hey guys, Christina Nichols for ID8 TV with Juan Gabriel Pareja. Very good. Good job. Good yes, work. all three names. I said them all I'm with impressed. the accent. Yes, indeed. And you know this face from season one of The Walking Dead. You might not recognize it because uh, I've lost a little bit of weight, you know, but it's the same face. We know what's coming up next for you, which is good and exciting. We like to hear that there's stuff happening. There is stuff happening. Oh, and also, a uh, hundredth episode of Walking Dead is right around the corner with the premiere of season eight. Ah. Uh, and leading up to that, uh, I believe they're going to be always doing the marathon. And so if you go back, you'll see me in season one and you'll be like, I do remember. Yeah, that's right. He is in that. After all, he wasn't lying. Season one, man. It's been Season years. Season one. That's a throwback. That's been a, it's been a spell. So, I mean, it has been years. But when you think back on that first season, before, you know, The Walking Dead became what it is today. Yeah. What was that experience like for you? Oh, um, it was amazing. It was, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Uh, it was really awesome. Everybody involved was amazing. All the actors involved was ama uh, were amazing. It was a really great uh, dynamic and a synergy between everyone and the crew, the producers, everybody involved. Greg Nicotero with his team and the makeup was just blew everybody out of the water. We knew that it was an amazing um, project, but there's no way in the world that we could have anticipated it being as incredibly successful as it was. And it definitely blew all of our expectations out of the water, I believe. Nice. Yeah. How does it feel now to be able to say, I was on The Walking Dead? Uh, pretty cool, man. It's a pretty cool family to be a part of. Uh, it's, a, it's a great property. It's a great, uh, it's a great show. It's, one, it's not the most popular show on cable, one of the. Uh, and every year it continues to break records. So yeah, why not be? Uh, it's a pretty good thing to be associated with a, such a successful project. Absolutely. And you have yeah. a photo here with all the cast. Are you yeah. still in touch with cast members? Uh, here and there. The really the, the, the best time that they're the best opportunity really to connect with everybody is conventions like this. The um, there's all kinds of wonderful conventions. I'm, uh, the Walker Stalker conventions <laughs> are hugely successful. And they do a really great job of bringing the cast members together again. And it's always a great time to see everybody and kind of have a little bit of a reuniting and it feels so good. You know, a little bit of that action. Yes. Uh, but yeah. Any moment. Did you take away anything from set? I can't talk about it. It's a secret. I didn't. You didn't? No. Was there a moment on set in a scene or something that like stood out that you can share with us? Either as an actor moment or, you know, just with your castmates? Um, I had a blast on episode, the, the very last episode that I was in, the camp scene. No, the second of the last episode. It was just a huge invasion. It was the first time I think we saw an invasion of the camp by the zombies. I had my bed. I was swinging left. I was yeah. swinging right, bashing zombie brains all over the place. Uh, and that was just a great scene for me and the culmination of the, the most action-packed scene that I was involved in uh, while I was shooting on the show many years ago. So that's fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Hey, Christina guys, check Nichols. out on uh, social media. Uh, if you want to find out what projects are coming up next and uh, what appearances I got lined up, follow me on Instagram, Juan G. Pareja on Twitter. And follow and give me some Twitter love and hashtag Morales Lives, yo. <laughs> That's right, Christina Nichols for ID8 TV.